The CBC's Nala Ayed is in Paris for us again tonight. Nala. Peter, thousands of police are after them, but the attackers are still on the run as the nation mourns. Paris, 24 hours later, fell virtually silent. Driven by the need to grieve, maybe to just silently seethe together. We now have to be strong, says Philippe Brinsolaro, whose brother was one of two policemen murdered yesterday. Today, I'd like to pay homage to everybody who carries out this difficult job, he says. Today, an extraordinarily urgent job. Tens of thousands of police tracking the gunmen who had slipped away, searching house to house in places, even through a forest. Wanted, two Parisian brothers, dangerous, and a day later, still at large. The carnage the attackers left behind was appalling. The first public photo of the aftermath spoke to its horror. So did witnesses. It was horrible, says Patrick Pelou, a doctor and columnist at the magazine. Some were already gone because they killed them execution style. We managed to save the others, he says. They had called out specific names and then fired, taking 11 lives in about five minutes. Then a 12th, that of a man believed to be a French Muslim policeman. One killed him on the street. This is the road where the gunmen were walking after the attack, and it was right here that they came upon Ahmed Murabit, the policeman who was on duty. One of them shot him point blank. Where he lay dead last night is now a growing memorial. A tribute to a policeman many have hailed a hero for protecting a magazine that satirized his religion. Echoing Je suis Charlie, there is now also Je suis Ahmed. This woman traveled from the suburbs just to lay a flower. We're sad, we're in mourning, she says. Yes, there is anger. La peur. And fear. Fear too, she says, above all. Fear, too, within the Muslim community, as some of their mosques and businesses were attacked overnight, some marked with hateful graffiti. Paris has grappled with such tension before. But even so, after yesterday, it wavers. Even at the Eiffel Tower, they took a moment to sum up the day. Dark. As for Charlie Hebdo, it will publish next week as usual. With the help of huge donations from around the world, it's planning an unprecedented one million copy run, Peter. Nala, you mentioned a moment ago those attacks on the mosques. A female police officer was shot and killed in Paris today. Clearly tensions are, are still very high there. No one's surprised about uh, the backlash, but many people are concerned about the consequences, the possibility of further violence, which would only fuel, I guess, extremist thought, and that would not be good for France or for Paris. Uh, one imam that uh, was actually in this area and laid a flower at a memorial said that they could understand the anger, but they cannot accept the hatred. Peter. All right, Nola. Thank you, Nola Ayed in Paris.